Hello and welcome to this Flix tutorial video. In this video we are going to take a look at Firebase. Now this has been a long requested video and finally I'm getting to it. I am making a video on Firebase. Now this video is going to only focus on how to integrate Firebase with your Xcode project. Then in the future I'm going to launch some videos on how to work with their database and all the other kinds of cool stuff that they also offer. But in this video, we are going to take a look at how to integrate Firebase into your Xcode project. So let's begin. And we begin by opening up a web browser and going to firebase.google.com. And you will see something like this. And then let's see if we go to the main uh, site, if we now remove console so that you see how it looks. So when you go to Firebase, you should see this. Now, if you don't have a Google account, then go ahead now and create a Google account and then you will have access to Firebase. If you already have a Google account, no problem, just log in. And then you will have this when you have logged in or created an account. And then you simply go to go to console. Now, this is where we are going to create our project. So the way we do that, is we click on create a new project. Very intuitive here. So what our project name is going to be is going to be a uh, fire fun. And I am in United States and I'm going to create a project and then it's going to launch and then we're going to get some more details here on how we can implement this Firebase into our app. So it's really a very clear step-by-step -step guide, but I'm just going to walk you through it in order to make absolutely clear that we are doing the right thing here. So now you're inside Firebase or uh, your project. And now we're going to go very straight ahead and we're just going to click on add Firebase to your iOS app. Now, as you can see here, uh, you're asked for your iOS bundle ID. So we could write in one here and then just remember it when we create our Xcode project. But what we're really going to do or what I would, rec I would recommend you do is create a project right away. So we're going to create an Xcode project and then we're going to make it a single application call it Fire Fun. And just like that, I'm going to make everything small, fire, fun, that makes everything much easier. And then just copy your bundle ID, okay, or just remember it. And I'm not going to use any core data. And I'm just going to click on next. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. Now, I would also recommend that you save it on your desktop. When you, uh, when you watch this video and know what you're doing, then of course you can save it wherever you want to. But just so we have the same uh, base point, make sure to save it on your desktop. So I'm going to create it here and then we have our bundle identifier right here. So just copy that and now you can really just close down your Xcode window again. We will open it later, but you will see it will be a slightly different project that we're opening. So let's head back to our Firebase installation guide and we're going to paste in our bundle ID. Uh, we can give it a nickname, FireFun and I'm just going to click on add app and now it's going to register our app and now as you can see it downloaded a google service slash info dot plist file so this is now in your download folder and we are just going to access that and we're going to drag that in onto our desktop and it wasn't completely right what I said we do need to open up our Xcode project once again so uh, here we have it. And then we're just going to take this file and I'm going to remove the two because I, it looks like I already have two, but it should say Google service slash info .plist file. And I'm just going to drag it over to my Xcode project and just copy items if needed. Make sure that you click that one, click on finish. Now you can indeed close down your Xcode project. So I'm going to do that at least. If you don't believe me, just uh, let it open. Let it stay open. And now we're going to click on continue once again. And now it's uh, showing us how to install Firebase into our project. So now we are going to use something that's called Cocoa Pods. If you have used this before and you know you have used it before, then don't worry about what I'm going to show you right now in the next uh, 30 seconds. Because if you haven't got Cocoa Pods yet, then you can just head over to cocoapods.org. And all you need to do 
is copy this line of code right here or follow their installation guide and then you open up your terminal so let's see if I can get that one here we go so here's your terminal and if you want to install cocoa pods you just paste that in and you click enter and you will indeed install it so if you haven't used cocoa pods before then go ahead and install it I already have it installed so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to jump straight to fun and what we're going to do is we're going to locate our projects folder so this folder right here our fire fun folder so what we're going to do is we're going to navigate through the directories on our laptop in order to find Firefun. So what we're going to type in is first ls in order to see where we're currently at. And we want to access our desktop. So we say cd desktop, which makes us enter into the desktop folder. We can now click on ls to see all the files that is on our X or our desktop. And the file that we want is Firefun. So again, we write cd and then fire fun and we can type ls again and as you can see this is our project folder now what we're going to do here is we're going to install our uh, pod file in this folder so all we type now is pod in it click enter and now it is going to install that pod file into your map and if we now open up our map after it has been installed it may take a while depending on everything <laughs> a lot of factors but if you just open this up, you should have your pod file right there. So just double tap on that. And now you can see here we can type in some awesome stuff. So let's head back to Fire, Firebase. And it says open your pod file and add pod firebase slash core. So we're going to do that. And right below here, I'm just going to say that. And also because uh, we're going to work with the database in a uh, future video, we can do it now uh, right away and just type in database. And this is going to allow us to work with the Firebase database. So just click on save, command S, and we can shut down the file. And then we're going to get our terminal again. And here we're just going to type pod install. Click on enter. And this may also take some time, but now we're just going to wait until it has finished uh, installing everything, preparing everything for us. And then when it's done, we are going to take a look at the new Xcode project file that we now have got. So here we go. Now it has installed. So now you can shut down the terminal and we are going to open up, let's see the folder here. And as you can see, let's make it like that. Here we have our old uh, Xcode project and here we have our new Xcode xcode project and from now on we are only going to uh, use this one so let's double tap on that one and here we have our project uh, that is optimized or uh, is ready for uh, firebase now what we're going to do is we're just going to make a few tweaks here or a few add-ons in order to set it up properly for firebase uh, when we're going to work with the database in a future video so we are going to first of all import Firebase and then down here we are going to type before the, before the return statement everything after the return statement will of course not be um, read so we're going to type this before the return statement and here we're just going to type type fire app dot con let's see fire app dot configure and then we're going to click on save. And here you have your Xcode project set up for Firebase. And in a previous or in a future video, I'm also going to show you how to do this in a view controller, how to set up everything there, how to work with databases. But this is the main project that you always want to start with when you are going to be working with Firebase. Then in a future video, a video to come, we are going to take a look at how to use this project, this exact project. So make sure that you don't discard it, make sure that you save it. And now you don't have to have it on your desktop anymore. You can drag it around wherever you want to, just so that said. And we are going to continue with this exact project. And the next video is going to be about how to write uh, data to the Firebase database and how to retrieve data from the Firebase database database so hopefully you're looking forward to this one i enjoyed making this video so i'm really excited about starting on the other video on how to work with that database make sure that you click on subscribe on to this channel so that you stay tuned for that video 
And if you do, I will see you back in the next video. Thank you for watching.